Hi guys, Mike here from Volkswagen Waterloo and on this beautiful, beautiful sunshiny June day I got to thinking we should do an obscure tech tip. Now today I was thinking we should do a video on the installation of a Beetle convertible windscreen. It's not difficult to install but I thought it might be nice to have a video that shows you how to put it in and how to take it out. It's a little easier with two people if you can find a helper but I'm going to show you today how to do it with one person. So first we'll do, so we'll head around to the trunk and we'll get it out of the trunk. If you have an earlier model Beetle, in all likelihood, it could be just in a bag in your trunk sitting loose. It was, I think, only a few years ago when they started mounting them just up and out of the way here in the trunk. So that's just a matter of releasing these pins, popping the screen out of the back, a couple of tabs, and out she goes. So now that we have it out, we're going to skip ahead and join me back in a couple seconds and I'll show you how to put it in the back. Okay, we got the windscreen out of the trunk and it pretty intuitively folds open, but what you want to avoid doing is locking it out just yet. You want to reach around to the back of the Beetle and you can see there's a couple of points here to put in. And as I was mentioning, a little easier if you got some help, but not impossible to do by yourself. So before you lock this down in its closed position, you just want to make sure that those little tabs are going into the right spot. We got them all looking good. Then you just want to push this down and lock it up. So that's just about ready to be flipped up now. Then you grab it, lock it into place, and you're done. It's a fantastic thing to have in a convertible because what it does is it reduces the wind recoil. Your hair won't fly around and uh, you know, it'll just be a much more comfortable ride in the car. It does, of course, take out backseat occupancy, but if it's just you and another person cruising around, it's nice to have the windsock installed. It does make for much more pleasurable cruising. So what we'll do is we're just going to quickly do the reverse. I'll show you how to get it out. There's a little resistance to pushing it down. Feel free just to keep push past that resistance point. There's a little paddle up here on the front. Now what that's going to do is that's just going to release again the middle section, click it open, with any luck everything will just sort of remove itself. Take the, so take the windscreen out, fold it back up, and throw it back in the trunk. It's super, super easy. Like I said, you can do it by yourself, don't be afraid, but after a couple times it becomes much easier to do. So there is your obscure tech tip for the installation of a windscreen on a Beetle convertible. Thanks for watching.